but the big thing today, which I want to go over, is the this nuclear emission situation that's going on in Japan. So may or may not have heard about this whole situation, but a basic overview is that in 2011, there was a big earthquake in Fukushima, Japan, and it broke the nuclear power plant and led to a meltdown. So they are, and since then, they've been spraying down these cores with seawater and collecting the seawater that's been contaminated with nuclear emissions. And they, Japan is planning to start releasing that water, which has been treated, and they're going to release it through a pipe that goes a kilometer out to out into the ocean, which really isn't, I mean, a kilometer doesn't sound like that much. So the station exploded, damaged cores have been sprayed with water to stop them from overheating. And now there's 1.3 million cubic meters of contaminated water that are held in big containers. And there's 64 radionuclides initially in this water after you spray it down. And some of these will have decayed already, so meaning that they aren't harmful. But some of these radionuclides like carbon-14 have a 5,000 year half-life. So it's going to be sticking around in the water. And they have a, a method that they use to treat this water, which takes about, I believe it was 62 of those 64 radionuclides out of the water. I think the only ones left are carbon-14 and tritium. And, uh, and so this is all from a Nature article, which is summarizing it, which I'll put a the headline of the article will admit at the will admit at the start of the section if you want to read it. They haven't really said what they do. They're, they're going to do with the trash of uh, with this sixty two radionuclides that they're treating out of the water, but presumably they're going to do something on land with it, so they don't have to explain what they're doing to the international community as much. So any, anywho, they have this treated water. They dilute it down even more, and then they release it. And so that's their their method for treating, disposing of this water. And they're going to start doing it. And there's been a bit in the news about it. Many countries around the area are very unhappy and are threatening to cause some start some issues with trade going on china and korea are definitely pretty not stoked about it understandably and i i mean even a kilometer off the coast doesn't sound that great so here's what some of the views on the whole situation are and this is the this is the godzilla um thing at the start that I was saying so because it seems like this is how you get Godzilla basically but one of the people that they interviewed in this article Jim Smith who's an environmental scientist at the University of Portsmouth says that following the the treating of this water that there is quite a bit of a lower risk of it being a big issue and the thing that he points out is that the risk is worse of if another earthquake hits and these tanks have all these contaminated water in it if they aren't um if they get broken so he's sort of pointing out that you've got this issue and basically doing nothing is a bigger risk than what it is what it is that they're doing, going to be doing. There are, and so that's sort of the argument that's saying it should be done. A lot of other scientists are saying, and countries are saying that there's not really enough evidence to prove that it's safe for the claims that they 
have been making about it. The it's a I think it's the it's a some min, municipal municipal sort of situation that's treating it. So it's the local body there and it's treating it. And one of the worries is that it'll concentrate in fish. So just as mercury concentrates in fish, so too people are worried about these radioactive radionuclides getting concentrated in fish. People are saying there's not enough evidence. It may bioaccumulate. An interesting thing to note that they pointed out in this article is that a lot of power plants are already doing pretty similar things in that they release this contaminated water out into the ocean. And the idea is that you're diluting it enough that the radioactive particles that you're putting out into the ocean are below the levels that are naturally there in the ocean. This is sort of their reasoning behind doing it. That's not necessarily a a good thing. And I don't have the background to really be able to be, break this down enough to the to really say what would be good or not but it definitely is something that needs to be done about it but when you've got so many countries around that are really opposed to it and are voicing concern then you've got to at least bring them in with a super high level of transparency which it's not very clear is totally there at this point. So, a very unfortunate situation all around and not a issue that is going away anytime soon. Especially if uh if it leads to like a Godzilla situation. I don't think it will, but you never know. You never know. I think Godzilla may have, I don't know if Godzilla was from pollution or was from like a nuclear bomb experimentation, you know, but it was some sort of thing related to that. Okay. So that's, that's that situation that's ongoing. That's kind of the bad news of the week. Sorry about it, but we gotta, we gotta talk about some of these things and 